Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Friday, September 18th. God bless you. We made it to Friday. So I hope you all have a great day. If you're going to school, I hope it goes by quickly and you get home and have some fun this weekend. And if you're going to work, I hope you have the day off <laughs> because nobody really wants to do much on Friday. Now, as you can see, uh, whatever is going to happen in the Gulf is starting to form up the next 18 hours on HRR right here next to Louisiana, so it's starting to do its thing. You got Sally over here leaving the East Coast, and we got some storms brewing in a little bit on the West Coast. Now, I'm going to show you after this one what uh, Teddy's doing, because Teddy's doing some weird things. It's almost like a like a Wujifara, uh, Fujiwara effect, it looks like, but there's no other system for it to go around. But it's doing some weird things. I will show you that in just a moment. Uh, first of all, i like to get to... Uh, say something to some people. Uh, some people think that they're not good enough. I see, I see them in the comments. They, they, they don't want to talk about God. I know this has nothing to do with weather, but I'm here to help you. Okay. Now, just like I don't know if you heard of Kim, Kim Clement. He, he was like a prophet. He was very good with what he saw, and he was good with his teachings. Now, one thing that he did mention is don't ever say that you don't qualify for God. Okay, he, he will come to you, he will work through you, or don't believe that you're just not good enough or that you qualify. Jacob was a cheater. Peter had a temper. David had an affair. Noah got drunk. Joanna ran from God. Paul was a murderer. Gideon had an, had an inferiority complex. Miriam was a gossiper. Martha was a warrior. Thomas was a doubter. Sarah was impatient. Zacchaeus was short. Abraham was old. And Lazarus was dead. And God still used them. So please, you do qualify. Talk to your, 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 your father. Talk to your God. Fix yourselves, guys. Now let me go through what you have from the, from the GFS for what we have going in Teddy, because Teddy is really starting to be something that's starting to loop around. Nobody really knows what he wants to do. And I already loaded this one, so it should load up pretty quickly. Now, here you go. You got your Teddy. Now, as Teddy comes around, you're going to see him swing really fast back around, almost into the, uh, the Gulf of Maine up there. And while you watch this, I want to read to you my continuous mornings that I do. Yesterday we left off on Genesis 6. So now it's time for Genesis 7. Now right here when Teddy meets this wind, he swings around really fast. I mean, he picks up a lot of speed. You see how slow he's going. You watch him, he's going to pick up speed. And he's going to dip around like he's trying to go in the Gulf of Maine. Well, there he goes. Just gets suddenly quick. I mean, that is fast. And then he's like, ah, maybe not. And then he heads north. So we got to watch that. That is something tricky. And then you can see down here, if you watch, you'll see what's going to be Wilfred uh, form right down here in the Gulf. You can also watch the wind speeds of that. It's a tropical storm. There's some 50s come on, but I didn't see it come on land. And there he is right there. Genesis 7. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou in thy, in thy house into the ark. Come thou in all, thy, in all thy house into the ark. For thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens, the male and his female. And of beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female. Of, uh, of fowls also of the air by sevens, the male and the female, to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. For yet seven days, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights. And every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. And Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. And Noah was six hundred years old 
when the flood of waters was upon the earth. And Noah went in, and his sons, and his wife, and his sons' wives with him, into the ark, because of the waters of the flood. Of clean beasts, and of beasts that are not clean, and of fowls, and of everything that creepeth upon the earth, there went into, into, unto Noah, into the ark. The male and the female, as God had commanded Noah. And it came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. In the six hundredth year of Noah's life, in the second month, the seventeenth day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up. And the windows of heaven were opened, and the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. And the selfsame day entered Noah and Shem and Ham and Japheth the sons of Noah, and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons with them into the ark. They and every beast after his kind, and all the cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and every fowl after his kind, and every bird of every sort. And they went in unto Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. And they, and they that went in, went in male and female of flesh, as God had commanded him, and, a, and the Lord shut him in. And the flood was forty days upon the earth, and the waters increased and bare up the ark, and it was lifted up above the earth. And the waters prevailed and were increasingly great, greatly upon the earth, and the ark went up the face of the waters, and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth. And all the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered. Fifteen cubits upward did the water prevail, and the mountains were covered. And all flesh died that moved upon the earth, both of fowl and of cattle and of beast and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and every man. All in whose nostrils was the breath of life, and all that was in the dry land died. And every living substance was destroyed, which was upon the face of the ground, both man and cattle, and the creeping things, and the fowls of the heaven, and they were destroyed from the earth, and Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him in the ark. And the waters prevailed upon the earth a hundred and fifty days. Amen. hundred and fifty days. I tell you, when I worked offshore, I was there for three months, and I read the Bible front and back, back then as well, and 150 days, that is a long time without seeing land. Now, we have temperatures coming soon. I want to let you know exactly what they look like. It should load up pretty quick. I already loaded it once, but we're talking about some 30s for a number of people. Now, if you look right here in the northeast, this is on the 21st at 4.30 a.m. All this red is 32 degrees. Okay, look. It's all 32, and it goes all the way down to 40 degrees to the tip of South Carolina and North Carolina. But since you know what the color is, let me play this so you can see. In the next few days, you'll see the cold stretch down. I'll call out the days as it comes. Right now we're on the 18th, midnight, moving into 19th. And the sunlight comes. The 20th, midnight. Nice cold air in the northeast. You're going to love that. Fall is here, guys. And the sun comes. The 21st, midnight. It reaches way down south. That's nice. I bet y'all need it down there too. I bet y'all tired of them warm temperatures. But northeast, y'all really going to enjoy this cold temperatures. It's going to be mostly at night. So it's not like it's going to be a daytime freeze. But it's going to be some cool nights. Open the windows. Let the breeze in. And then it's going to start getting less and less, it looks like. Yeah. Get some cold air on the west coast. 
and then into the 23rd at midnight. We get some cold spots in the west, less in the northeast, and that's pretty far enough right there. So God bless you all. I hope you all have a great day today. I appreciate you for tuning in with me. I also got a video uh, given to me by a viewer, and you got to look at these clouds. Hey, hey buddy. Mark, I've got one for you. <laughs> Thank you. I you ever see clouds like this? I believe this is Olivia. Have y'all seen clouds like this before? That is the craziest cloud I've ever seen in my life. I agree. Look at all that. You too, sweetheart. Thank you. Olivia, you're a great person. Look at that. Everywhere. Thank you for the video. I do appreciate it. <laughs> and then she's like, Mark, what's these clouds? I'm, I don't know. <laughs> that is something uh, pretty pretty special right there. If anybody knows, please leave in the comments what's going on with those clouds. God bless you all today. You have a great Friday. All glory goes to God.